How old is this woman? One thing for sure, Joyce Kresge says before she came to see plastic surgeon William Binder, she used to look older than she feels. And I feel useful, and I wanted to keep that. And there you can see in a picture before plastic surgery, her face was beginning to sag. The skin was starting to droop and wrinkle. In the past, people like Joyce Kresge might have come to the plastic surgeon for a facelift. But they might have left disappointed by a taut, mask-like appearance that didn't quite do what they expected. That's not surprising. Plastic surgeon William Binder says you can't make somebody look younger just by stretching their skin. So eight years ago, Dr. Binder began working on implants that go just below the cheeks. After years of reconstructive surgery on deformed faces, he realized that aging is not just wrinkles in the skin, but a loss of contour underneath. In other words, beauty is more than skin deep. The natural progression of aging is a loss of fatty content and loss of the subcutaneous tissues and padding that's between the, uh, the skin and the bone. As that happens, the, uh, the skin actually collapses down and forms the folds and the depressions around the mouth. The result of Dr. Binder's efforts is a silicone implant made possible only by modern 3D computer modeling techniques. It's used to lift and mold the skin and maintain a youthful appearance. You can see for yourself Joyce Kresge before and Joyce Kresge after. By the way, she admits to being 50 years old, though since surgery, she says she doesn't feel her age. It, it's made a difference in my attitude and my outlook. I feel better, and um, it, it's just different. Now, some people don't need implants, but if you have a long, thin face with areas sunken in, then you could be a candidate for the implant alone or the implant combined with plastic surgery.